Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I thought I would do a little virtual shopping spree with you guys. There is this makeup tag going around and it is basically like if you were given $1,000, no strings attached, what would you spend it on in Sephora specifically? So I am going to share that list with you guys today. But before we begin, let me remind you that subscribing is 100% free. So please click that subscribe button. I post videos every single week. So make sure to click that notification bell as well so that you're notified when I post a new video. By the way, if you guys are interested in this makeup look, I will have that video linked down below as well as up here, you'll probably see a little eye pop up and you can click on that. It'll take you directly to this makeup tutorial. So just a heads up. So I just pulled up my Sephora app on my phone. And if I keep looking down, that is what I'm looking at. So these items aren't in any particular order. I'm just going to go down my shopping cart list and do it that way. The first item is a skincare item. And this is by Kiehl's. And it is their Clearly Corrective Dark Spot Solution. This is $54 for one ounce. <laughs> And I mainly wanted to try this because I found that I have some sunspots, I guess, dark spots, sunspots. I don't even know what they are, but they just popped up randomly one day and I just don't know how to get rid of them. So you can see one like right here and then I have one here and I have no idea. I, I feel like it's because of the sun, but I've been dying to get rid of it it's been bothering me so much <sighs> so i don't know hopefully one day i'll be able to try it out it has a four star review so it says that it is a brightening face serum with peony extract and white birch extract and it helps reduce the look of dark spots so i mean it sounds great but again it's 54 dollars <laughs> for one ounce so I don't know. Hopefully one day I'll be able to try it. The next thing on the list is by Laneige and it is their lip sleeping mask and I've heard so many good things about it. So many YouTubers have been raving about this lip mask. It's $22 for technically a lip. It's like a lip balm, right? It's a lip mask, lip balm, whatever, but it's $22. I have to have moisturized lips every night because I just can't sleep with dry lips. So I always um, put petroleum jelly or Vaseline on my lips. And in the morning, they're perfectly moisturized and, you know, they're perfect. It, it's per been working for me for so many years, but I just don't understand what this specific lip mask does. People have been saying that it leaves their lips looking really fresh and plump and juicy and ugh, I'm so tempted to try it, but it's $22 for this little bit of product and I would be so disappointed if it is pretty much the same thing as Vaseline. All right, we're on to the third item. This is the Stila Glitter and Glow Liquid Eyeshadows. Um, pretty much any of their liquid eyeshadows I'm obsessed with. I have a little collection going on right now. If you are to get just one Stila liquid eyeshadow, hands down, I would go with Wonderlust. It is the absolute, be like most amazing, beautiful, I don't know what it is with that shade, but it just it takes my breath away every time I see it. It's so beautiful. So... Yeah, if, you, if I were to choose one, it would definitely be Wonderlust. But ever since these came out, I've been completely obsessed. So just any any shade that I don't have. I'd probably go with Perlina. I don't have Perlina, but it's duochrome. And I love duochrome, so I'll probably go with that. The next thing on my list is another lip mask. This is by Tatcha, and it's the Kisu lip mask. This one's $28. So this is even more expensive than the Laneige one, but I love the packaging and the little spoon that it comes with. It's like a little spatula spoon. I saw the little video on Instagram about this lip mask and I've been obsessed ever since. It's just the most beautiful light baby pinky peachy color. And it's just so satisfying to see them like just scrape the top layer of the lip mask off. Oh my gosh, it's just 
it's so beautiful all right so the next item is by charlotte tilbury and i've always wanted to try this brand but it's so expensive so expensive it looks like they have this little set like there's different sets there's a supermodel set there is the golden goddess look set uptown look set they have different sets it's pretty cool that they created a little set but i mean this retails for 220 dollars you get four little eyeshadows um a lip liner lip gloss lipstick like a blush i think it is. i think it's a blush um mascara and eyeliner i think so it looks really nice and it comes in this little makeup bag i've heard really great things about this brand but they're just so expensive so yeah i would love to try one of the sets and the main set that i would want to try is either the supermodel one or the bella sophia those two have such pretty colors especially the eyeshadows look really nice on to the next item next we have pat mcgrath labs and it is their lip gloss and the color that i would want to try is divine rose i i like the other color too that they have here but love that mauvey color so pretty this retails for 28 dollars for a lip gloss wow i guess that's not too terrible but i mean that's still pricey for a lip gloss but i've heard so many good things again about this lip gloss so i really really want to try it the next thing on my list is a perfume if you've seen my past perfume collection you know that i have an obsession which is perfumes i love perfumes and colognes and oh, I'm obsessed. I'll link that video down below for you guys to check out. But the perfume that I have in my cart is by Versace and it is the Dylan Blue one. It looks so beautiful. I'm not gonna lie. The main reason why I would want to try this is because of the packaging. That beautiful royal blue with the gold. Oh my gosh. I, I would just have this on display. But it is $92 for 1.7 ounces. All right. So next is by Maraud. It is the Rapid Age Spot and Pigment Lightning Serum. This one is $72 and this pigment lightning serum is also for my little sunspots that I have. I just, I really want them to go away so literally anything that'll work i'm willing to try but it's 72 dollars the next item is by ysl and it is their slim matte lipstick again i'm such a sucker for packaging i just don't understand i just love the packaging on these ysl lipsticks i, I don't know how good the lipstick is itself but these are 39 dollars for one lipstick i don't think i've ever spent anywhere near that for a lipstick ever in my life i mean i have lipsticks in my collection that are like what 98 cents i think that's like the cheapest lipstick i have and i mean to think that you can get almost 40 lipsticks for the price of this one lipstick it's just it's crazy i don't know maybe maybe it's just that good i'm not sure but the color that I really want to try is called Ambiguous Beige. I love nude lipstick, so that is why I would go with Ambiguous Beige. And if you're paying that much for a lipstick, I would definitely make sure it's a lipstick shade that I would always wear. The next item is by Natasha Denona, and it is her bronze eyeshadow palette. It retails for $65. I've just always wanted to try a Natasha Denona eyeshadow. I think I have swatched her her eyeshadows before and the metallics were amazing but you can't tell how an eyeshadow will perform on the eyes by just a swatch so that's why i would really really like to try an actual eyeshadow palette the next item is by clinique and it's their moisture surge 72 hour auto replenishing hydrator again it's another thing that i've heard nothing but good things about i can get really really dry skin so this sounded amazing the only thing is it's $39.50 for the moisturizer and I have a lot of different moisturizers here mainly from BoxyCharm <laughs> so I need to get through those first before I spend 40 bucks on a moisturizer but I think I will eventually try this out the next item is of course a perfume and it's by Dolce & Gabbana and it is their Dolce Eau de Parfum this one retails for $96 it's the 1.6 ounce bottle and as a bonus this is so pretty the packaging if you look at the bottle it's like the top is like a little rose 
For the scent type, it says fresh florals. That is exactly what I love. I, I love clean, fresh scents and I love floral scents. This would be perfect for my little collection. But as for right now, I'm not going anywhere. So I don't really wear perfume ever. <laughs> so I'm going to wait until I start using up some of those perfumes because perfumes do go bad. So I'm gonna have to wait control myself and wait. This item is by Pat McGrath. It is the Divine Rose 2 collection. It's $125. There is this one particular shade in this eyeshadow palette that I am so intrigued by. And I mean, I guess you can tell by looking at the picture, but it's like this duochrome color and it just oh, looks so fabulous. But the other colors, aren't as interesting. I mean, they are really beautiful, but they're not as interesting as this specific color. But I would really, really, really wanna try out this eyeshadow palette, mainly because of that one eyeshadow. Okay, so I guess my camera stopped filming when I was talking about this item, but I had also included the Dior Lip Glow in the list. These are sheer lip balms that enhance the natural color of your lips, and it's supposed to moisturize and protect your lips as well. And these retail for $34. So pretty much these are just overpriced chapsticks, but I have been into sheer makeup lately, especially for the summertime. And these seem to be perfect to just throw into your purse and use when you want that your lips but better look. Um, and it's very natural looking as well. And I would specifically like to try the rosewood color. Alrighty, the last item is by Tatcha. And it is a little skincare set. If you haven't noticed, I love getting sets. It's such a great way of testing out the makeup, making sure that... I mean, of course, that you like the product and that the color suits you, but also I have very, very sensitive skin. So especially when it comes to skincare, I would rather get like a small travel size of something and try it out, test it out on my skin to make sure that my skin doesn't have any bad reaction to it. So that is why I always, always go for sets and like the little mini sizes first make sure my skin's okay with it. And then if it's really amazing, I'll splurge on the bigger size. But this one is a Tatcha Best Sellers set. It contains the Deep Cleanse, the Water Cream, the Silk Canvas, and the Luminous Dewy Skin Mist. I've just always been fascinated by Tatcha. Their packaging, again, looks so beautiful. The colors are just like it's just so gorgeous and i've heard so many good things about the luminous dewy skin mist so i really want to try that as well as the water cream again i have very very dry skin so water cream just sounds amazing to me my skin always needs hydration so yes i would really really love to try this set out and the bonus item is the dyson air wrap um, this one is specifically the one for fine and flat hair. I do have a lot of hair, but it is very fine. The only volume I get is when it's very frizzy, which is all the time. Uh, I am notorious for having bad hair days. It's just like, it's, it's not a ha bad hair day. It's more like a bad hair decade for me. So anything that could possibly help me with my horrible hair days, I am willing to try, but this little Dyson Airwrap Styler costs $500. To be exact, it's $499, but it's basically $500. I don't know why they couldn't just... I mean, you might as well. At, at $499, you might as well just round it up to $500 because that is ridiculous. The reason why I didn't include this is because it's half the budget. And for $500... I expect absolute perfection, but I have heard mixed reviews on this, so that is why I would never spend my own money, and I'd, I'd probably still be reluctant to, to spend that, you know, $1,000 on this, because, I mean, that's like half the budget. Gone, you know, for, for something that is $500 and not absolutely perfect. I don't know. I don't know if I would ever try this out, but the main reason is because I just have such like horrible hair days and I have always wanted a blowout. I believe it's called a blowout where they take the blow dryer and give you a nice 
voluminous blowout and um, I just I love the look of it but I'm pretty sure there's not a single place near me that can that has that ability to do that I don't think just think if I had the right tools maybe I would be able to do it myself I don't know but I, I just don't know with this this much hair I'm not sure I mean I have a lot of hair so that's the only reason why I would even think of getting something like that. I'm just still not fully convinced that it's worth $500. Alrighty guys, so that is it for our little virtual shopping spree. I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know down below what you guys would get if you had a free $1,000 gift card to Sephora. What would you get? Would you actually buy the Dyson Airwrap? Would you spend it on perfumes, makeup? Let me know down below. Other than that, please subscribe if you haven't already. Give this video a big thumbs up and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.